Hello friends, welcome to MS Excel interview. Uh, today I'm going to tell you what questions are asked in any MS Excel interview. MS Excel interview is not only for Excel, but actually company tries to understand what is the data analysis or reporting and management experience you have, what you have worked on. So if you have just done only Excel, then you need to also understand what Excel data you have worked on and how did you use the Excel formulas in that data. So I just bring to you some of the questions, interview questions, which companies usually ask when they try to understand what is your experience in MS Excel and how good you are in MS Excel. So the basic formulas are like, uh, basic questions are like, uh, first, they will ask you about yourself so you can, uh, you can tell them about your introduction and what you're working into. So over here, you need to also tell in which projects you are actually working in MS Excel because the interviewer will try to understand what is your core uh, work in MS Excel. So if you're working on a project, you can tell them that you are working on some MS Excel project and how did you take data from which systems you are downloading the data. So it can be an SQL server, in-house tool or any system, system that the client has made available. So you need to tell them how you have downloaded the data, what that uh, downloaded file format is. Sometimes the for format can be a CSV file or an Excel file after downloading what you actually do with the data. Because many times when you download a data from SAP systems or some in-house systems or any SQL server or from any tool, the data is not cleaned. It can have some special characters. It can have some extra spaces. It can have empty rows, empty columns. So how do you actually delete these rows and columns? So you can tell the interview what all things you do to clean this data to this make this data ready for preparing any report or a dashboard so the foremost question the first question which comes into mind if you're going for a reporting and data analyst interview it is what is the difference between a report and a dashboard so always try to understand what you're doing what you're going to work on so some of the MS Excel questions would be like, do you know, do you understand the formula for VLOOKUP? So you need to actually tell where you have used VLOOKUP in your company. So you need to tell them. You need to tell them if you have worked on a project, where did you use VLOOKUP? You can tell the syntax also and you can tell them how did you use VLOOKUP? Now the second question would be, if you're using VLOOKUP, what the column index means? What the last zero and one means? If you are using column index as some number, they will ask whether you can create this VLOOKUP as dynamic. So understand this VLOOKUP making dynamic, it can be referencing a cell which, can, which will show you a column number and you can have the column number change based on a match formula or or anything else. So you need to give them some examples on how this VLOOKUP can be done dynamic. So just with the VLOOKUP formula, you can cover your match formula also. And to make the VLOOKUP more dynamic, you can also include your index formula in this. So you can have VLOOKUP index match all together. <clears throat> with this, you can also explain them what the HLOOKUP formula does. So that the interviewer will understand, okay, he doesn't think the person doesn't think he or she doesn't think only in one way. So he has some logical thinking when he works with formulas, when the person is working with Excel. Other things are like whether you know what is count if, you know what is sum if, uh, what is pivot, what actually that row and column does in a pivot. What is that values? Can you change the number formats in values? Can you change... Uh, uh, can you have the subtotals in pivots? What is that classic thing in pivot? Why it is used? 
then uh, some formulas like if you're working on dates then it can be how can you find a weekend from a date how can you do a weekday from a date if my weekends are not saturday sundays how can you tackle that those things if your weekends are somewhere on thursday and friday how how could you do that what what changes can you do in your formulas do you know those formulas or how can you work on those formulas then second thing would be like the logical logical things like the if and or have you used it in your projects if you have used it you can tell how you used it where did you use it have you used in any, any data data analysis uh, projects all these things so other things would be like conditional formatting the data validation do you use any list do you use any na name ranges uh secondly do you use any anything for cleaning the data like trim uh, split or any uh, format to change any formats do you use text do you understand what is sorting how do you freeze how do you protect your workbook uh, how do you create a table what is wh why do you create a table when you work on data why can't you work on ranges so these are some of the basic questions which comes when you work on ms excel there can be some questions like when you put today today formula in ms excel which date it is actually giving is it giving me the system date or it is giving me some other date what is the shortcut for um, having time in excel sheet so if you want to uh, do a copy paste of data to another excel sheet do you use paste special values or paste special formulas or you do paste special formats and what is the difference between all these things what is the difference between all those paste special things have you used anything like add subtract transpose in ms excel you can get such questions so if you work on this such basic questions in ms excel i think it would be very helpful to clear the ms excel round of interviews in my next session i will come with some questions with using macros or vbas how what questions can arise for macros or vba in ms excel thank you thank you for joining my session i am anthony the a reporting and data analyst specialist thank you thanks a lot